Okay, we're going to, for our demonstration here, we're going to start with, um, I guess, our reference here. We have two, two bowls of water that are uh, about as identical as we can get. But if you see on our ORP meter here, these are untreated. Okay, 320 millivolts, 7.6 pH. Now, we're going to go and change them over give it a few seconds here okay we have 321 millivolts 76 pH so the, these two bowls of water are about as identical as we can possibly get so we're going to change everything back over to here and we are going to put one level spoonful here this is liquid so you can't really cheat it but anyway put one in here one in there and mix it up a little bit okay you can see how this has been cleaned we're up almost 600 now okay so see we wanted to get the uh the number above 700 which is good especially for a, a hot tub but it took three of these uh, spoons in each one and we're at 728 and pH went up slightly to 77 here we'll switch them here and We're at seven, what? Seven thirty-five and seven six. Okay, and we we're putting just normal household bleach in the water. Usually, what I recommend. And we'll see what happens uh, with with uh, conditioner. Okay, we're back, and you can see actually the first tank at. Uh, it's gone up to 745 is so very similar to this one this was like at 741 when we took it out now we're going to explain on um, granular chlorine okay it doesn't matter if it's in this bag bottle it doesn't matter what brand it is basically it says sodium dichlor on the bottle, which is the most common uh, chlorination for hot tubs. It is all the same compound, although some can have you know, a couple little tweaks to the, the formula. But basically you have chlorine and conditioner built in, which can be good in an outdoor swimming pool, but just in moderation. Hot tubs, it's that's another story. So, anyway, we, we're dealing with ORP in a hot tub. You know, the, the actually the minimum um, typically recommended for recreational water is 650 millivolts, and that would, in my estimation, would apply more towards a swimming pool because it doesn't have the um, the beta load that, that a spa or a hot tub does. And in Europe, I think they recommend around 720. But anyway, for, for our purposes and from my experience, I don't want to be right at 650. So we're, we're now here at, at 750. And... We're going to put 
put that ORP sensor in there and um, sometimes it takes a few minutes for these to stabilize but we're we're pretty close to where we were okay so now we're gonna take I told you sodium dichlor has built-in conditioner which it's pretty common called typical uh, conditioner, stabilizer, cyanuric acid. It's made to protect uh, chlorine from UV degradation outdoors. So in our experiment here, um, because of our limit limitations, we're using instant uh, conditioner. Regular conditioner is a granular chemical that takes hours to dissolve. With the instant conditioner, it does the same thing, but it instantly dissolves. So I put um, I put some in this um, glass, and we're going to take one level teaspoon. So we're at 764 right now. I'm going to mix this up. And you see that it's actually starting to drop. One more. We'll mix this up. Okay, you can see that we're dropping more. And now we're going to switch that out. Okay, we're, we're at the A, and we're going to get our reagent. Okay, so we got reagent in here now. We'll mix it up a little bit. Okay, we're back, and we uh, waited a couple minutes, and we still don't have a really detectable amount, so we're going to add some more conditioner. And adding the conditioner is going to be the same effect as adding more of the uh, chlorine granules. As the conditioner level increases in the water, okay, so we've dropped. Uh, it's dropped again, and we will do another test and see where we're at now. Okay, so you can see we put we put a couple more spoonfuls in there. We've dropped down to 740, or I mean 714. And uh, well, this this test uh, the lowest it goes to is 20 parts per million, and I can see that the water is starting to become turbid, but we still haven't even got to to the uh, 20 mark and for for many of you like uh, public pools in a lot of places will only let you go to a hundred max and some places like uh, New York and uh, a couple other places will not let you have any cyanuric acid or stabilizer in a in a public uh, spa or hot tub so We've already gone down from about 750 down to 713, and we will add some more. Okay, so we've actually uh, stabilized a little bit, but we're, so we're at 719, and we are at 20 parts per million of stabilizer. And 
We're going to add some more now. Okay, now at um, 30 parts per million of cyanuric acid, we've dropped down to 698 on our ORP. So we're going to add two more spoonfuls and see where that gets us. Okay, so we're roughly a 40 parts per million cyanuric acid here. We haven't dropped a whole lot this time, but we're at 692 millivolts. And again, 650 is the very minimum, and we started out at about 750. So we're going to add a little bit more. Okay, so now we have uh, 50 parts per million cyanuric acid, and we're down to 658 millivolts. Okay, now we're at 60 parts per million cyanuric acid and dropped to 649 millivolts. Okay, so now we're at 80 parts per million cyanuric acid or conditioner and we dropped to 627 millivolts. Okay, so we got uh, 100 parts per million on the uh, conditioner test and we dropped to 525 millivolts on the ORP. So we basically lost what 526. We've lost over 200 millivolts of ORP in this little experiment, and the water is basically cannot. Your chlorine cannot sanitize and oxidize effectively in this kind of an environment. So if you put more chlorine in, you're going to be increasing the conditioner level even more, and it's just a losing battle. So that's, that's why you can have what appears to be a plenty of chlorine in your water, and the water will look like trash. So anyway, hope this uh, helps give you an idea of what's going on. Let's get rid of some of the mysteries in water care. Thanks.